I'm gonna take you home with me. I got money in the bank. What's up, people? What's up? Let me turn this off. Oh my god, so loud. Okay, so today I do the comparison between the Skull Candy venue, acted noise canceling headphones for 2018 from Skull Candy, and the Skull Candy Crusher 360, the ultra like bass heavy bass head headphones from Skull Candy in 2018. Limited edition, by the way. So here's my analysis. What I did with my phone was I have a Galaxy Note 8 and I can do dual audio, meaning that I can play two headphones at the exact same time. So here's the thing, when it comes to sound quality, because that's what we're going to mainly talk about. I mean, these things are light years apart as far as build quality and comfort. Uh, so uh, sound quality is where we're going to hang out for a little while. Now, when I did my test, I only tested it with the bass slider all the way down, i.e. off, because it's not even a fair comparison when you start cranking up the bass on these things. <laughs> this one doesn't even have a bass slider. So all of my conclusions as far as sound quality is done with the bass slider all the way off, because as soon as you hit this thing one notch, it's gonna crush these, literally, uh, it's in the bass department. So as far as bass goes, honestly, man, I feel like with the bass slider off on these, I feel like these pack a little bit more bass from the bass line no pun intended <laughs> these just have a little bit more bass truth be told you can barely tell the difference but i, I taste just a little bit more bass in the uh, skull candy venue you really probably won't be able to tell uh but i can taste it you know because i, I really dig my bass i can taste a little bit more bass out of these now as far as clarity when we're talking about the mids and the highs it's just such a very subtle difference they're almost identical but i think these shine through in the mids and highs department just a little bit you know just a little bit Honestly, when you put them on back to back, the average person probably won't be able to tell the difference between these two as far as sound quality, comparing apples to apples, okay? And that's even at full volume. Full volume, they're both right on par with each other. It's very, very hard to tell the difference. Um, but as far as overall sound quality, I think I would have to give the, the edge just by like half a point to the Skull Candy venue. Now that does not take away a single thing from the uh, crushers right here. These things are great overall headphones. I listen, and this is the music I tested them with. I listened to some smooth jazz. I listened to a couple of country songs, and then I listened to some of my R&B and hip hop. I didn't cross over into any pop or uh, classic rock like I normally listen to, but I felt like that was a good enough test between overall volume bass and uh, clarity so is, is if i was going to give an edge to better overall sound quality i would have to give the slight edge and i mean very it's just it's so tight it's a very very slight edge to the uh to the venue here for sound quality now um if you're a bass head and you want bass these are definitely a good buy uh, you cannot go wrong with these plus you're getting that noise canceling and a pretty good build quality at that but if you want the best of everything, I'm talking build quality, comfort, because these are definitely more comfortable than these. Uh, these are a little tight on the ear and these just give you that memory foam and it's just so much better as far as comfort. And uh, you can just, as soon as you touch them, man, you can just feel the build quality in these headphones. And then you got that option to have as much or as little bass as you want. Uh, in these because remember when I turned the bass down I turned it down all the way on these as soon as you turn it up maybe one notch you're automatically better than these as far as the bass category goes so you have adjustable bass here without even having to open up your phone for the EQ so as far as the overall choice I would always pick the Skull Crusher 360 because they're just in my opinion a better overall headphone even though they do not have active noise canceling uh, the passive noise canceling in these is, is pretty good. And as soon as you turn the music up just a little bit, all the outside sound is gone. So it kind of moots uh, the noise canceling aspect of this uh, because the same thing applies with this. As soon as you turn the music up, I um, mean, you can't hear much outside anyways. But as far as the comparison goes, I still choose the Skull Candy 360s over the uh, the venue just because it's 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 like the best of everything in my opinion. If your budget is allowing you to get the venues, you cannot go wrong and you will not be sorry. In fact, if you ever decide to get them, hit me up in the comments of this video and let me know how happy you are with them because I I stand by this review, man. I really like these headphones. Uh, but my pick is the Skull Candy Crusher 360 because they're just freaking awesome. I mean, awesome build quality. You get the bass slider, extra, extra comfort on the top and the ear pads, man. And I just love them to death. But I'm no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews and I thought you guys might like to see a comparison between the two. There's more comparisons coming with these. So y'all stay tuned and I'll see y'all at the next one.